wasn't supposed to be this way. Now that the kids are grown, it was supposed to be our time. But now I feel like his mother, not his wife. It's hard with his dementia. Sometimes I feel like I'm struggling. A while back, I was trying to help him get dressed. I was helping him put on his sweatshirt. And then he got angry. He started to yell at me and he pushed me away. I was at my wit's end. I was trying to help him, but I feel like I heard him instead. So I talked to his nurse to get some advice. Well, she explained that a common cause of irritability and aggression in people with dementia is pain or discomfort. We talked about how difficult some of his clothing is to put on. Well, she suggested to try clothes that are easier to put on, like sweatpants and zip-up tops. I also learned that even though he may be in a lot of pain, he may not be able to communicate that to me using words. Sometimes people with dementia lose the ability to describe how they feel which is why he gets angry and frustrated. The nurse said that he might not even be able to recognize that he's in pain. So he acts out. Almost everyone sighs and groans when they reach a certain age. But it can also show that someone is in pain and that it shouldn't be ignored. So now I have to figure out where the pain's coming from and what can be done to help him be more comfortable. And there's a lot of common causes of pain and discomfort I've learned. But in many cases, it's bone or joint pain, like in his shoulder. I can usually tell if it's a shoulder pain as he holds onto his arm. It is harder to determine when the pain is from something else. The pain can also come from something that's usually pretty common, you know, like a headache, an infection, even a fever that can indicate something's wrong. He may have even accidentally hurt himself. Maybe he bumped his head or strained a muscle over doing it. I also understand that his pain can just be from generalized discomfort. The nurse said that chronic pain doesn't go away just because he has dementia. No pain goes away because he has dementia. He just may not be able to tell me about it. So chances are, working with my husband's treatment team, we'll be able to effectively manage and control his pain. And we'll be able to continue enjoying some of the hobbies we used to do together. I can check with his doctors to see whether giving him pain relievers, such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen would be helpful, or if using a hot or warm compress on his sore muscles and joints would give him relief. I was also told that if his pain is not controlled with mild pain relievers, stronger pain medication might be needed, including opioid medications. I understand that there are side effects there, and that I would need to watch for, especially constipation. If his pain is joint or muscle pain, it might be helpful to go to physical therapy. I was told that physical therapy often has some great ways of managing pain without using medications. Now I'm keeping a log of the times he experiences pain, the causes for the pain, and what seems to help treat the pain. If I can just remember that he's not acting out of anger, but because he's in pain, I can better help him help myself and help us.